Hey everyone, it's me. Um, so these past couple days have been absolute hell for me. Um, this is the first time I've ever gone through like, like something like critical health wise, something that was actually severely wrong with me other than my, you know, casual anxiety panic attacks, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> So I did this to myself, cool. So you guys, I basically fractured my pinky. Um, it's, a, it's called a spiral fracture, whatever that means. I still have to meet with a fracture specialist today in about like four hours from now. So uh, Today has just been, today, well not today yet, but yesterday, the day before that, it's just been completely like hectic, you know, crying on and off. So what happened was Sunday, I basically was wearing like shoes that had too much of a gap at the front of the toe. So I was trying to go up the stairs. I basically like tripped because my foot wouldn't give. So I like... So I tried to go up the stair and then I tripped and then I fell and as I fell my pinky finger basically went like that and it slammed right into the banister so right into the staircase there's different like wooden poles and basically my pinky finger went out that way and then it slammed and I had like a, like a gash in, bet in between these two fingers from on my pinky from the, from the, the contact that it made with the banister. Um, so, and right when I, right when that happened, I knew, like, fuck, I, this is not just, like, a sprain, I didn't just, like, stub my toe or stub my finger, like, something is severely wrong with it, because I remember it being so painful, and I was trying to close my, my fingers, trying to close my palm, and basically, my pinky was going, like, that way, it was going this way, so it wasn't closing properly. And then I went to go feel my hand, and I swear to God, I felt something in my hand move. I felt like, I felt like pieces of bone move as I was touching it. I'm like, oh God, oh God, this is not good. And I knew that I had to go, I was with my boyfriend, and I knew I had to go to a hospital. Um, I told him, I don't want to go to the emergency room, I don't want to go to the emergency room, but honestly, you guys... If something like that ever happens to you guys and you guys are hesitant to go to the emergency room, rather go to the clinic to avoid emergency rooms and stuff, just go to the fucking emergency room. Don't even bother wasting time going to a clinic because you're and you're gonna get everything solved in one fucking day instead of three days like I did. Like the reason why I didn't want to go to the emergency room is because I felt like there would be lots of people there. Um, like the one near my house, there's always tons of people there and I had to wait hours before I, I got the full results for everything, for my blood work. When I had an anxiety attack, you guys, I had to wait like close to six, seven hours of waiting. So I knew I needed immediate attention. So we went to like an urgent care clinic. So it's, it's a walk-in clinic, but it's called urgent care. Luckily there was nobody there. Um, so I was, I saw a doctor right away, um, I was icing my hand as, a, as we were, as we left, as we were on our way there, and the doctor basically said, he looked at my finger, and I wouldn't be able to show you guys now, but maybe I can insert, like, some pictures that I took of it. My finger was, like, angled, and it was, like, kind of shifted, it wasn't, it was kind of like, like that, sort of, I don't know if you guys can see that. But, so, something was severely wrong with it. So he said, you gotta go do an x-ray for this. And every, it was a Sunday, so everywhere was closed for x-ray. So he said, gotta go to the hospital, do an x-ray. So he wrote me a form, and then I went to do an x-ray. So the first hospital I went to near my house. So I went to one hospital, and of course, they don't take outpatient x-ray forms on the, on the weekends, on Sundays especially. So that was their policy. So I couldn't even do an x-ray then and there. I had to wait the next morning to do it, which I was like, screw that. We went to a different hospital. So basically, it's like a wild goose chase. I've been running around like a wild, like a freaking turkey with my head cut off. Went to a different hospital. 
went in first of all the lady that helped me was not even making like i was registering at a desk she wasn't even making eye contact with me she was very unpleasant and she was acting like i was inconveniencing her by coming to get an x-ray on a sunday because of a freaking bro broken limb that i have or a fractured finger that i find out now um so she was fucking unpleasant and this was at humber this was at humber river hospital and in Toronto, this is at the corner of Keelan Wilson at the Medical Imaging Center. Um, bitch, put, put that bitch on blast. <laughs> but, and then I did my x ray, I go in, I sit down, I put my hands up on this pedestal thing. She takes a photo of my hand like that, then like that, and then I went like that, and she took a photo of it. So, so that happens, and then after that, it was like nothing. She's like, "Okay, do you want do you need do you want me to help you find your way out?" And that was basically it. And little did I know, is I was supposed to grab like a disc. They're supposed to give me a disc with the X-ray and the results on it, so that I can go to a doctor or I can show it to anyone to to show them like what's wrong with me. So I had to go this morning to go get that disc again. And today is Wednesday. Wait, today? Yeah, today's fucking Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. I got my x-ray done on Sunday. And still, I my I got my cast yesterday. So it's basically a long ass complicated story. But honestly, guys, this is like an eye-opening experience for me to always just go to the emergency room when something is wrong and you need to get treatment right away. Do not fucking postpone it and try to avoid the emergency room. Just do it and get it over with. So, so whatever I did the x-ray and then I have to call, I called for the results and they basically sent the results to the wrong number. So that unpleasant lady that was at the registration desk at Humber River gave the wrong number and I gave her the sheet and it said the number on there. She put the wrong fucking number. So I... Even the girl at the front desk of the clinic said, yeah, she, she told me the wrong number. I said that she said that that wasn't the number. So basically, there's all this confusion. Finally, my results get get um, sent to that clinic. So I went there yesterday, and they read the results, and they read it. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's just dislocated. Maybe it's just sprained. Bitch, it was fr I got a freaking... Fr um, I got a spiral fracture on my left pinky. So... And then she's like, yeah, you're going to need a cast and you're going to need to see an orthopedic surgeon. I'm like, what? Like from falling on, I literally, it was like three stairs and I just fell. That is just, that's just when you know that like the, the most minimal like thing you can do can cause such freaking damage and such like, like, I don't know. It was just fucking like so frustrating to hear. And I started crying, obviously, because I'm like, orthopedic surgeon, they're going to have to put surgery on my hand. So I don't even know exactly what the results are going to be today. I have to meet with him. He has to interpret the results. He's going to look at this. The, he's going to look at the x-ray for me. Um, and he's going to tell me exactly what is going to happen, what's the healing process like, and what I need to do for it. So I'm kind of nervous about that because I sure as hell don't want like surgery on my hand or anything. So I'm just scared about that and it's just it's just frustrating because I felt like I had to go to go through a lot of loopholes and obstacles in order to get treatment for my hand because because of the way the healthcare system is set up in Canada. Like sure, you guys might think you live in Canada, you get free healthcare. Yeah, but the free healthcare is 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 what? Is ten hours of waiting in a waiting room with tens of fucking people? Or like the just horrible service dealing with unpleasant people who are supposed to actually help you when you're in need but really just give you just treat you like you're a number in a waiting line and you don't you're not significant you're not important especially knowing your results when your hand is black and blue and you're calling these people for your results and they're just fucking saying oh well you gave me the my battery just cut out my Things gonna die soon, but I'll just get to the point. Um, so, uh, so this is just like a horrible experience, and it's just lesson learned. Just when you have a problem, if you don't have a family doctor, and if they're not open, or if you need treatment right away, go straight to the hospital. 
go through the weight because it's been three days and, and I'm just figuring out what exactly is wrong with me. So if I waited Sunday at an emergency room, I would have found out then and there. I would have gotten casted right, right then and there. Oh God, so yeah you guys that's how my weekend went and this weekend was such a good weekend because it was my mom's birthday and my best friend Anita's birthday on Saturday so not only did I go out and have a good time Friday night for Anita's birthday I was spending a like amazing day with my mom and my family on Saturday and then Saturday evening I surprised Anita <laughs> at the hotel downtown that she was staying at and I surprised her we went out, we went out for drinks and stuff so I'm gonna like be posting videos still you guys, but I just gotta figure out what the hell is going on with this. So yeah, that was my weekend and I'm just I just want this to be fixed. And honestly you guys I just feel sort of sort of embarrassed walking around with a cast because I don't know, it's just embarrassing. I don't want people to look at me and think, oh my god, what the hell did she do to, to her hand? Or I don't want people to think feeling sorry for me. Or people staring at me extra hard because they already stare at me hard. So, just gonna be even more looks. But yeah, there's nothing I can do now, you guys, but just figure out what the healing process is for a fractured finger. If you guys have ever gone through something like that, like this, like fractured bone or fractured finger or, or hand or ever broke your arm or anything, please let me know. And you guys, this castle, the hard part is here. And then the rest is like a soft material, so I can't even shower with this exposed. I have to shower with a, like a gross, like two grocery bags tied so that it doesn't get wet. So that's nice. <laughs> and so I've been, I curled my hair with, with both of these hands. I can still use these fingers, so at least that's good. The only thing I can do is like scrub soap into my hair when I wash my hair. So my mom has to help me wash my hair. I can wash my body fine. Um, with this hand, with my right hand, luckily it wasn't my dominant hand that got broken, not broken, but is disfigured, but this hand I can use for everything else, so I can wipe my butt. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, I mean, I'm really sad, I was like crying on and off about this situation, because it's just frustrating, it's frustrating, and it's just like, it doesn't help that you... The, like the healthcare system that's supposed to help you and supposed to you know give you the right treatment on time and give you the results on time they're just I had to call for them to fax the results over they were supposed to fax the results over as soon as they were ready but I had to call to request it so you guys you guys got to be on top of your on top of your health and on top of everything and put deal with everything in your own hands because no one gives a shit about you especially the healthcare system you know how many people go in with broken limbs like you are just one out of a million people that they've dealt with in one week so you just gotta take your health into your own hands and just know how to assess and deal with situations and like if stuff, if stuff is an emergency then you better treat it like one and get help and treatment right away and don't try to go the easy way don't gotta freaking go through the weight just do this no it's just it's just prolonging the treatment so yeah you guys so anyways let me know down in the comments below if you guys ever gone through this because i have never gone through this before so it's kind of like scary for me please let me know it's gonna be okay <laughs> okay i'm gonna go eat breakfast now before we make our way to to the next place we gotta go to so yeah See you guys in my next video. <laughs>